Damien Vazignac spends upwards of 12 hours a day in his hot kitchen. It's thought he's at greater risk of getting coronavirus because of his gender. Now it's claimed his profession could also be a risk factor. Your immune system is weaker because you don't have enough sleep, you're working all the time, you're getting stressed. A small space like this could have six, seven people on, on the go. So that's, that's probably why we're in high risk. But, you know, it's, um, it's something which we need to just go on with it. New data from the Office for National Statistics shows as well as being twice as likely as women to die with the virus, working men between the ages of 20 and 64, who are in the lowest skilled jobs, are at higher risk. The average number of coronavirus-related deaths per 100,000 people for men in that age group is 10. But among security guards, for example, it goes up to 46 deaths. And it's also significantly higher for taxi drivers and chefs, with 36 deaths per 100,000 people, as well as in lower-skilled jobs in sectors like social care, retail and construction. But even though safety measures have been brought in, these figures make frightening reading for bus driver Lorraine Robertson. I think about it day and night. I think about if I've got, if I'm carrying it, if I'm going to pass it on to a fellow bus driver. So it is frightening times for a lot of us, and I think we all feel the same. The Office for National Statistics says many of those who've died with COVID-19 were infected before the lockdown and social distancing was in place. But for many who've continued to work, staying at home is not an option. Stacey Foster, ITV News, Peterborough.